right, talking about the NL. We'll talk about some NL teams today. Start off with the NL West. This is honestly a pretty good division. We'll talk about the Padres first. They're probably the by the by the end of the year will probably be in last. Probably the worst team in this division. Um, it's just you know they're kind of in more of like a rebuild type situation, which I feel like they've been in a rebuild for a long time, and you know they're finally starting to get some of these young players up to the majors at this point. Uh, Manuel Margot, their center fielder. Hunter Renfro is not a bad right fielder. He's he's one of their better offensive players. Um, and then Jose Perella, Perilla, and then they have Matt uh, Schuzer. Also, is like their fourth, their fourth outfielder that they have. Uh, Freddie Glavis came over from the Phillies. He's actually had a pretty good year at batting, pretty good playing shortstop. Um, he's been actually a pretty good surprise for them so far. Uh, Carlos Azulia at second base. He's one of the younger guys. Um, and then Christian Villanueva has probably been their best, one of their best hitters, other than Hunter Renfro. He's hit a good amount of home runs. He's got 12 or 13 RBIs, a pretty good third baseman. And then they have Eric Hosmer, who they got to come over. Chase Headley, who's back. Corey Spangleberg is another guy on the team. Um, and then they have Austin Hedges behind at, at catcher and A.J. Ellis also at catcher. Starting pitching, not really that strong. I mean, Clayton Richard um, is an all right pitcher. Tyson Ross had a terrible year last year. For the Rangers, and looks like he's more at home now, back in uh, San Diego, and he hadn't pitched too bad this year. Brian Mitchell, uh, and then some of their lo- young guys, Joey uh, Lucchesi and Luis Perdomo. Perdomo was the one who threw his glove at Arenado the other other day, and almost got his shit kicked in. Um, but yeah, this is not this is ain't, this team ain't nothing crazy. You know, this team is definitely still building. Don't forget, they got, uh, who is it? Um, Meyer, Myers, whatever his name is. They have Myers, too. He's a good, Will Myers, he's a good player. He's just injured right now. Uh, Brad Hands, their closer, not a bad closer if they can get him in those situations. Next, let's talk about, let's talk about um, the Giants. I'm not that sold on the Giants yet. You know, they kind of – they picked up, you know, Longoria, McCutcheons to kind of help out this offense, and this offense has been all right at times. But, you know, this team's good defensively, but what really this this team had really going for them in the past is they had just a great starting, you know, starting pitching staff. And they just really – to me, they don't have that this year. You know, I know Bumgarner's not playing right now. And, you know, when he comes back, their pitching staff will definitely be better. But the only other guy that's really good on this pitching staff is going to be, you know, Johnny Cuto. And after that, it really drops off. Derek Holland, Chris Straddleton, um, Chris Straddleton. I just – I'm not really sold with this team's, you know, pitching staff at this point. You know, Hunter Strickland's their closer. Um but and that's kind of like they've never really had a good offense, but they've always had a really good pitching staff. Jeff Samarja is also hurt, who I think they still have, who's all right on a good day, you know. But outfielder looking like you know McCutcheons, Austin Jackson, you know Austin Jackson's bounced around kind of on major minor league contracts, and he kind of always finds himself on a on a major league team at the end of the year. But you know he's playing center field, not a bad center fielder. But and then you know. Hunter Pence, who's found a home here at the Giants. Uh, Brandon Crawford, you know, who at shortstop, who's definitely known more for his, his defense ability than his offense. Uh, Evan Longoria at third. Joe Panic, you know, Joe Panic won him a couple big games at the first of the year against the Dodgers in those close 1 0 games. But um, he's definitely cooled off. Brandon Belt can get hot at times, he can be good. And then they have Buster Posey behind the plate, Nick Hundy. Hunley behind the plate. Just not, I mean, you know, Adam Longoria and McCutcheon's definitely probably got the fans excited, definitely sold some tickets. But I'm not really sold on this team being that good this year. Um, I think that they definitely, you know, they took a, 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 I think that they're 
they definitely took, you know, a back seat last year, the way they played, they played terrible start of the year, terrible. And I, I just don't, I think this team will, you know, kind of be talked about for wall card throughout the year. You know, they're not going to completely play themselves out, but at the same time, they play in a really tough division. I mean, what other division, you know, has teams like the Rockies, you know, the Diamondbacks and the, you know, we'll see what happens with the Dodgers. Dodgers had not really looked that good lately, but I don't know. I just, I see them maybe competing for a wild card spot, but to me, the Diamondbacks and the Rockies, you know, were overachieving last year. And I feel like now they're at a point where they've got confidence under their belt and they're really going to be really good teams this year. Um, and I think, you know, the Giants continue to get older. They added guys that were on teams that were ready to kind of, in a sense, reload when the Rays and the Pirates, you know, the Pirates have started this year hot. But I felt like those are teams that were ready to kind of, you know, start over, get some draft picks, maybe go the Astros route. You know, they got rid of Gareth Cole, McCutcheons. Like, they, I kind of feel like they were selling. You know, they've started the year off pretty good, but I feel like they were selling uh, this offseason. So, you know, they kind of sold some of these older guys that could be good. That, you know, McCutcheons has obviously been better than Longoria, but I'm just not that sold on, on this team. Let's talk about the Dodgers now. Now, the Dodgers can and might get it together, but at the same time, like, when I watched this team last year, I just kept being amazed on how they kept doing it. You know, I was like, it was just another, I mean, it was just a different guy each time that was just coming up big. And maybe they lost a little bit of their magic. Maybe they have kind of a little bit of a hangover from making it to the World Series and whatnot. Um, but, I mean, something that really helped these pitchers out last year was run support, and they have none of it this year. Now, they have, you know, injury and um, can't think of his name. Um I don't know why I can't think of his name. Justin Turner. So they don't have Justin Turner. I don't know why I couldn't think of his name, but no Justin Turner right now, which, you know, he's a good part of their offense, but like, I mean, he doesn't absolutely do everything. So like, just because he's out, this team has really been bad offensively. You know, Bellinger really hasn't got it going. He hasn't really looked that great. He's kind of looking like more like a rookie, um, you know, their catching situation, Grandal or Barnes, um, and then, you know, at third base, they got Foresight right now since Turner's out. Um, Enrique Hernandez at second. Chase Utley plays that at times. Corey Seager, really good shortstop, who just hasn't really done a whole lot offensively this year. They brought back Matt Kemp. Matt Kemp's been all right. Uh, Chris Taylor's probably been their, one of their better offensive players. Yasiel Puig's been all right. Nothing crazy. Jock Peterson, when he gets to play, Nothing, you know, and their pitching staff's really pretty good. It's just no run support to help them out. You know, Kershaw started the year 0-2, and he really didn't pitch bad. You know, Alex Wood is 0-2. He hasn't necessarily pitched bad. Uh, you know, Rich Hill, he's a, he's a really good pitcher too, you know. And then Kenta Maeda and and since er, and, uh, and Rue, I don't know how to say his first name, but Rue, not a bad pitching staff at all. Kenley Jansen who has been, you know, bad at times this year, but is a good closer. I don't know. I just – I don't know if this team – you know, this team would probably be competing for a wild card. I don't know. I just don't – I mean, they're going to have to get it together, you know, sooner or later because these teams in their division, talking about the Dimebacks and the Rockies, look pretty good this year. Let's talk about the Rockies. Um, you know, obviously they got Blackman in the center field, one of the best players in the game. Does a lot of things well. Cargo out and right, you know, Cargo, he, he just, you know, he's one of the older, he's kind of getting up there and he's one of the older guys and he, you know, he's more of a name than anything at this point, but he's a, he's a good player, you know, um, Para, 
Gerardo Paro over there and left another good field uh, outfielder. Um, and then their, their infield is honestly really good. You know, when you talk about, you know, Ian Desmond uh, at first, if, if he plays that, or if, you know, Ryan McMahon plays first base too, but if Ian Desmond is at first and DJ LeMayu at second, Trevor story at, at shortstop and then uh, Nathan Arenado or Nolan Ar- Arenado over there, at third, you know, they've got a really good infield um, hitting-wise, you know, maybe not as much as defensive, but hitting-wise they've got a really good – they've got a really good – you know, a lot of guys that can come at you and hit you. Ionetta, Ionetta behind home plate. Their pitching, you know, does somewhat scare you. You know, you might put the Dodgers above the Rockies because of their, their pitching. John, you know, John Gray has not been that great this year. Chad Bettis has been good. He's 2-0. and uh, Tyler Anderson has been all right. German Marquez and Kyle Freeland. They're pitching, you know, Wade Davis to end it out with their closer. Their pitching staff is really not that strong. You know, I'd project them probably worse than the than the Dodgers. But the fact that their offense is just really hitting and the in the and the Dodgers aren't. You know, I I see that I see the Rockies having a really good year this year and maybe making a wild card um, spot again. Um, and and uh, over here in the NL West, but the team that's looking really good in the NL West is the Diamondbacks. You know, I know they started the year really good, so that helps. But you know, Grinky. I mean, when look at their look at their pitching staff. Grinky, who's always you know is always on. Robbie Ray, who had a really good year last year. It looks like he's going to have another good year this year. You know, Patrick Corbin's been kind of injured over the last couple of years, but a couple of years ago, before they had Grinky and before Robbie Ray had made a resurrection in his career. This was the guy, this was the future guy that they were looking at, and um, he's really looked really good at the first this year. You know, Zach uh, Godley has looked really good. He, You know, his ERA was under one before this last start against the uh, Dodgers that he gave up a good amount of runs. But and then Tijuana Walkers gave out quality, uh, quality starts also. So this pitching staff looks really good. And then a pretty good offense, you know, A.J. Pollock looks like he's back. He had a really tough uh, tough year last year, but he's back this year. You know, uh, Chris Owings is playing in the outfield at right field. Um, David Peralta and left. They got Gerard Dyson also backing all them up uh, as their fourth outfielder. Um, and then, you know, Nick Ahmad, um, Ahmed at shortstop. They have Jake Lamb at third, who's out right now, but Descalso or uh, Maria, Marrero. Can play third. Uh, Kettle Marte, one of their young guys, playing second base, who's pretty good. And then, you know, they got big uh, Goldie, Paul Goldschmidt, that first, who's by far their best player. Had a really good week last week. Alex Avila behind the plate. Um, And then, not to mention their relief pitching, you know, Archie Bradley's a pretty good relief pitcher. And then uh, Brad Boxberger is another another guy. He's their closer, who's pretty good. So, I'm I'm liking the Diamondbacks this year. You know, as as easy as it would say, you know, the Dodgers are going to repeat and they look really good. They just haven't really started the year off, and you know, you're kind of hoping for them to have a couple games where their offense gets going, and it just really hasn't hasn't been hasn't been that way. You know, and the Rockies are making strides. You know, the Rockies have a really good offense, um, so it's a toss up between Dodgers or Rockies. But I think the Diamondbacks are definitely the best team in the NL West this year, you know, and just talking balance wise, um, they're balanced, you know, there's a lot of teams that just aren't that balanced, you know, the, the Dodgers have better pitching. Their offense has not been that great. You know, the Rockies have better hitting their pitching staff is really not that good. Same for the, the giants, their pitching staff is injured right now and their offense really isn't that good, you know, and, and so if they can sustain this first of the season, they, might be able to get better as the year goes on, get hot, but I'm liking the Diamondbacks right now. Like nobody in the hood is fucking with my shit. And that's real shit. Uh, since 9-5, mama been working 9-5. And I know the landlord fed up with our lives. So we pray to the guys, the jobs, and the our 